guys, welcome back to my history of toys. Now, guys, do it. Today, we're going to be talking about Talbot, aka the Abomination. Now, probably wondering, uh, why is Abomination a dinosaur? Did you just take a dinosaur and use him as the Abomination? Well, you see, the way I like to use Hulk related characters, or characters who can transform, is that I basically like to take the girl monsters. For those who don't know what Girl Monsters is, the term Girl Monsters refers to toys that grow in the water. So basically, I take those toys and I use them as hawks because you see, in his hawk, you see, because when he grows big, he's in his hawk form. When he shrinks down, he's Bruce Banner or whatever character I decide to name him. So that's what I do. And eventually, I'm going to do an update real soon so you can see what he looks like in his human form. Anyway, let's begin. So Tobit was a so it was it was a, it was a, it originally started as Arjun soldier. He joined the armed forces for his early in his life, and 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 his tactical leadership and skills were quickly noticed by General Thunderbolt Ross, who quickly made him an army general and second in command. It was after this, after that this, he would lead multiple men into multiple missions. Eventually, though, much like General Ross, he would begin to work with General Ross. What came with the problem of the Hulk? Trying desperately trying to kill the Hulk and desperately trying to gain the upper hand. Hand. Eventually, eventually though, eventually though, Tommy would go behind General Ross's back and steal a chop that would basically blast the Hulk. He first took the awesome Hulk, who was Hulk at the time. However, however, the chopper ends up crashing down, explodes, and since Hulk awesome couldn't find his body, Tommy was presumed dead. But he wasn't dead because you see. He was captured and experimented on by aliens with gamma radiation. Well, basically, this would transform its hobbit into the abomination. After turning into the abomination, he would escape. He would escape the aliens, and he blamed and, and, and he blamed Hulk, and he blamed Tolos Hulk for his change. Who we'll fought against Tolos and Hulk and the Teen Titans, but eventually get defeated by them. After getting defeated by the Teen Titans. After getting defeated by the Teen Titans, he was continuing his crusade to destroy the Hulk. To destroy the Hulk. He next appears. He next appears when he goes on a rampage, fighting against a bunch of soldiers. He is in he of all the permanent Hulk can fight him, jails him up. After being cap after being cap captured, eventually eventually he gets free free eventually he can he, he escapes, he gets free again. And General Ross and Hulk work together to take him down. Down. He attempts to destroy that dome, but took him to commit suicide, not wanting to live as Bruce Banner does. Bruce Banner does. However, his Hulk. However, since he was in his Hulk form, he survives the tsunami. This he survives the tsunami. The the, the tsunami. Hulk stops the tsunami from getting into the public by putting that by blocking the tsunami with rocks. Charles explains that the cool news that was a mega tsunami. So he ultimately survived and was quickly shut up. Eventually, he escaped once more and begins to go and get into the rampage. Permanent Hall opposes and General Ross, because at the time, let's Permanent Hall go and Permanent Hall stops the abomination. There's a thought of Permanent Hall fleeing and the abomination for being taken back into custody. He next appears fighting against Iron Man. You see, he been hired by Hydra Destroyer for the Helicarrier. Well, he does just that, fighting against Luke Cage and Iron Man along the way. He then jumps up, but it was that Iron Man managed to save the Helicarrier from falling into the ground. He then fights against Thor. Fighting a store, defeats him and attempts to lift the hammer. But, uh, but uh, many people who tried, he cut off the hammer, and as a result of that, he goes back to the earth grumpy. Eventually, though, he finally fought against Hulk and, and used a machine to absorb the radiation that was in the Hulk. That was in the Hulk. This would effectively turn the permanent Hulk back into Bruce Banner for the first time in a long time. But eventually, he would he would call the game explosion again and transform back into the Hulk. So the bombing of food continue. He later pop. He bomb bombing of food would continue. He later he later goes on another rampage, fighting against the uncanny Avengers and defeated by the Kenny Avengers. He goes on another rampage and fights against Spider-Man and eventually defeated by Spider-Man. He goes on another rampage and fights against Spider-Man and at his school. Spider-Man ends up subduing him and jails. Spider-Man ends up using his webs. To up the abomination's face, preventing him from breathing, and he turns it back to normal. Both Spider-Man did this. Finally, he would be put to show a Doomsday would attack the short helicarrier. When the superheroes were going to trick up the supervillains, Doomsday would attack the helicarrier on one of his red pages. Tom would turn to the abomination, defeats Doomsday. Despite this war act, he is drilled up. He would then later help the Hulk, 
Hulk called Hulk for the super villains who were being attacked by the super villains. Villains. And he and he and he and, and it turns out he but and, and he would be given a second chance. But it turns out that Trump, but, but it turns out that Trump Riker was actually just using them using using him to get into the ranks. Eventually 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 he blows anything off. And his urge to kill the Hulk was just too great. He would attempt to kill the Hulk and eventually he would be drilled up once again. Once again. After being drilled up, he would continue his crusade to kill the Hulk. Finally, we say to kill the Hulk. Hulk. Eventually, 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 though, eventually, though, he would fight against the Hulk. After I fight, he would fight against Hulk and kill no General Ross' daughter. From the Hulk ends up saving, saving her and defeats the abomination in the process. Then he, then, then while he was in custody, General Ross would convince Talbot in his abomination form to kill the Hulk. He agreed. He agrees with General Ross. Before he could do it, however, Bruce Banner arrives, turns into the Hulk. Fights against some imp and jails him up. Jails him up. While he was jailed, he would be sent to show he would become a member of the Suicide Squad. Have a ball placed in his neck. And this will last for quite a while. Until eventually, Tommy will learn a way to break away from the Suicide Squad. As, as he would grab a knife and take the bomb out of his own head. He would quickly turn into the abomination and he quickly heals himself. He then leaves, effectively leaving the Suicide Squad. He then tries to t he then tries to take over New York, but he gets defeated by the Uncanny Avengers during Secret Empire. True, the Bird Ross Fuller hides the abomination to destroy the resistance. Abomination does just that as he goes to destroy the resistance. He gets up getting, getting defeated by them, but he does defeat but he does take out their base in the process. Later. In the process, process later after this, he would go to Jordan Ross and ask him to back off, back off. He would defeat the lizard who was working for Jordan Ross at the time. Would go to kill, would go to try and stop Abomination from going to fight Jordan Ross. He fell at him. Abomination would brutally brutalize him. He would demand that Jordan Ross back off. But Jordan Ross ultimately ignored this and continued going after the Hulk anyway. Hulk and Jordan Ross to team up, and they would defeat the Abomination was it for all. Fight. And defeat the bomb once and for all. Then he gets showed up in the shield once again. Again, when the superheroes are coming to trick up on the superheroes, Doomsday would attack a yellow here and Bomb and Angel would scream and would defeat him. Defeat him. It was late, 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 later after. Late, it was it was that that later after that when Purple Hawk was going to kill everybody, he was going to kill Jordan Ross. Tobit. Tobit. Tobit, of course, in his Hulk form, didn't want to be here. And he fought against oh, and, he, and he fought against the Hulk eventually. Uh, eventually, the Hulk ended up driving the cure into abomination. He also and, and he posted nanites, nanites that destroy any game radiation cells, effectively curing Talbot. Talbot, or did, or did, or did he? It was, or did he? It was later, it, it was later revealed that Talbot, that, that it was later revealed, revealed that that all the game radiation cells were completely destroyed. And while he was seemingly cured, his 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 Hulk cells are seemingly regenerating himself. Eventually, he turns back into the Abomination and gets his powers back. And gets his powers back. Then he would sit with a bunch of super bullets and try and take down the Avengers. But he gets defeated by them. He didn't kill General Ross' daughter, and the Hulk would come to stop General Ross. As from the Hulk did have something for Betty Ross. After defeating Abomination, he gets destroyed up once again. Abomination will break out a trail once again. But it got that shrill once again and continue and continue his crusade into killing the into killing the Hulk. Eventually he pops up in uh, he pops up in New York, going on again at the ram, rampage page. Eventually Batman goes to stop him. Knowing of Abomination's Abomination's ability, Batman puts an end to the fight radiation gloves to basically absorb the gamma reading mushroom that was inside of the Abomination. And this is absorbed already Radiation and it will slowly turn him back into Tobit while Batman was fighting him, allowing Batman to drill him up. To drill him up. After taking down the abom the after taking down the abom the the the, the abom <laughs> later, Hawk will break free from his prison from General Ross. Abomination will take him down as Hawk was going on a rampage. After taking down the Hulk, Hulk will prove himself and join the Avengers. However, this didn't last very long, as his, again, his urge to kill the Hulk was just too great. When Hulk broke free, it was eventually a solid shred of the Hulk. Abomination impersonating him, and he was defeated 
Oh, up. Once again. Once again. Later, he would help a bunch of supervillains attack New York, and in the end, he also was going to stop them. He gets defeated by Ultima Hulk and gets shut up. Eventually, he would escape once again, and finally, his latest actions would be he would travel to Apocalypse and fight against Doomsday and brutally beat him. But coming to New World of Apocalypse, he didn't bet. He then he didn't punch Doomsday all the way back to Earth and he officially becomes the leader of Apocalypse. And that is the history of the Abomination. Abomination. Now let's talk about his powers. Powers. First we're gonna discuss the abilities of Talbot. Talbot is a really Talbot is very proficient hand to hand combat. He's an expert with guns, guns, and he's a tactical leader. Able to lead troops, he always comes up with a plan, even in the most dire of situations. And his abomination form, let's go over the strength. He is very strong, going into the tool with some of the most powerful beings in the universe. He can fight he fought against Thor. Thor, he defeated Doomsday. Defeated Doomsday and fought against and fought against multiple versions of the Hulk. Hulk. Eventually though. Eventually. Uh, if we fought he and he was even able to fight against A Bomb, he fought against Tony Stark. Let's talk about the armor. Go for his speed. He hasn't shown any substantial speed feats. As because of his hawk-like appearance, he doesn't find a need to dodge any attacks. As for his durability, he can take bullets, missiles, and even a nuke, and according to General Ross, a mega tsunami. A mega tsunami. Finally, if and, and now we we'll go for his weaknesses. Now, even though he is an enemy of the Hawks, and since he's that he's one of the strongest humans ever to live, he can be defeated by various means. Various means. Basically, very various means. Basic, ba basically, basically, Batman was able to acquire technology that would absorb gamma radiation, and it should basically slowly turn Abomination into Tobit as he was fighting him. And his oxygen supply can be cut off. As shown with Spider Man, use webs, well, web, webs to cover his oxygen tank, and he can simply be overpowered. Like I said, he's one of the strongest, not new strongest. He's been defeated by multiple versions of the Hulk. Of, of, he's been defeated by multiple versions of the Hulk, defeated by the Avengers, and the super and, and some superheroes on the occasions. Even though he is, even though he is a tactical leader, he can be defeated by superheroes as weak as Spider-Man, as they can very well easily outsmart him. And that is the history of the Abomination. Don't worry, I'm gonna be doing an update very soon where you can see the Abomination's true form. And that is the end. See you guys next time.